It is before 5 a.m. in the morning. It is bright and early, and we are on the set of the morning show on ETV. We are at Cheeky Media in Santon. And if you're wondering, why are you there looking like a hobo? Well, I'm going to be a guest presenter this morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Then I jump into the hot seat and I get interviewed by the hosts. So it's my first time actually doing the morning show on ETV. And it's been maybe two or so years since presenting live broadcast on this level. So I'm nervous, but I'm also excited, ready to flex my muscles. I've been given a tour since we've arrived, shown the control room, um, the different parts of the set. Uh, just, um, I prefer sometimes to get on set much earlier so I can familiarize myself with the environment and the technical things like my earpiece, make sure things are in sync. So next up I'll be going to makeup and then after makeup, what happens after makeup? We stand by and we get nervous to go live. I need to remember to tell my people, wake up, wake up, wake up and watch. Got our dining room section. This is where we interview like some of our guests. So like when they come through, there's a screen like the, right there behind them. This is where we like pre uh, display like our overlays for the guests. Like let's say they accomplish something in life, like achievements and uh, a couple of stuff. The achievements and everything will be displayed right there. Right here, this is where we broadcast our news. This is the, called the newsroom. Mainly does the news and as well as horsey. And come right here. Right here in the LFD, one of our camera operators. He takes care of me as well. Hola, right this, there's a good man right there. Uh, if you follow me, we have Njabulo. Njabulo, introduce yourself, my G. Hi, everyone. My name is Njabulo. I'm from here. Shop, shop. Right here we have the kitchen, as you can see we're doing uh, for Albany, so that's why we have the Albany products placed right here onto the kitchen side. We're going to do some RSS for Albany after the show. And as we move, and then we got the green screen right here, this is where we host like our trending about like uh, local topics, like what's new, what to talk about, like our trending topics as well. And get that there for so we call them Brazo, it's one of the camera operators. Right here is the lounge. This is also where we host our guests. Our guests get seated right here by the lounge. And then the TMS lights illuminates when we are seated right here. And then last but not least is the red door, the famous red door. Also where we host like our guests for like interviews and just have conversations with them. Uh, getting to know them better, for them to give us like the new scoop about what's happening in their life, yeah. So I wouldn't so, so much say the industry per se, but what I would say the gift is from the industry has always been platforms where I am able to be a voice for the voiceless. And I think now I'm more intentional, I'm doing work that's more purposeful. So it just feels like I'm creating platforms where, you know, I've had people who say I'm studying psychology and I used your episode for my thesis or I'm a teacher and I use your episode, you know, to show these kids and teach them about sexual education. And from that, one of the students went to the social worker to speak about their experience of being, you know, sexually assaulted. So that's the level that I'm at at the moment in terms of the type of work that I'm trying to do is purposeful and impactful. Sure. And you're, you're doing, I mean, a, a lot of that kind of work. But just going back to, to the presence element of it, mm. you've been honored, particularly at the Softest, for the work that you do for Miss Essay because you have done remarkably well. This is 2022, 20, 2023, you came back and you did absolutely, absolutely. amazing Thank work you. as well there. Tell us about the, the, that work that you do when it comes mm. to Miss SA and, and the production of Miss SA because it's looking better and better by yeah. the years. 
Look, I have to be honest, um, I stand on the shoulders of giants and ex exceptional teams, you know, even being here on the morning show, we have a fantastic crew that supports us, make us look good and do the things that we can do. When it comes to Miss South Africa, it was just important for someone like myself who is like, why do we still need pageants? Mm -hmm. To actually say, how do we get everybody interested in pageants again and get them to understand that it is an empowerment platform where a Zozibini can be found and now is a global superstar and um, I wanted it to be meaningful, to be creative, to be exciting and to have young people reinvested because from this we need to create other platforms, especially with my passion for women and empowering women that need more opportunities. You're being a mom. Yeah. This is something that Rilebukhele has embraced with all that she is. Yeah. Absolutely everything. I mean, how well a boy is every mother to add more to their life? You need to get a job. Get a job, my child. Get a job. Pick up your weight in this house. <laughs> How has this journey been for you, Rilebukhele? Because I think for a lot of us, it's really, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. I know for me, sometimes I'm just like, yo, maybe I'm not cut out for this. And then I look at your social media platforms and I see, like, Rilebukhele, every day, she's like, yes, please, universe. <laughs> Yes, me, I want to be a mom. And there's days where I'm just like, why? <laughs> Look, I've had difficult days and I'm going to be honest, I did not embrace um, the pregnancy journey immediately because it was such a high risk pregnancy. My family was banned from bringing anything until they had staged an intervention to be like, you have a child coming, yes. can we see something in the house? <laughs> and by the time baby arrived, I think the first day he slept in a washing basin because I was just like not ready for this massive responsibility but now I've started to embrace it and I felt it was important to share the struggles with fibroids. Um, so many women miscarry, so many women struggle with fertility and um, I, I see my son as my teacher. I mean his job here is really to teach me about myself, teach me about life and it gets difficult. There's days I've called the guy and say, where do I bring it back? But it takes a village, you know, um, he's got exceptional grandparents, aunts and uncles, uncles, siblings, his nursery school teachers, his nannies, um, he is just just a, a bringer together of people. Oh, man. Love it. Now, you're a mom. So, we are in touch, you know, mm -hmm. you must know these things. Be in tune. We are, we are going to guess what some Gen Z slang words mean. Okay. Yes. Are, you, are you ready? You have to turn it around before okay. she sees what it no. says. Can we just she acknowledge, no, nah, I'm, I'm old, guys. I'm Gora to Fori. <laughs> Gora to Fori. No, 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 you're current. Yeah. I believe it. We're all there, lighting okay. up with you. Lady Toby, old Zika, Mo, Wabana. We were all there. And us, us, come off any clue. No, I will not. Okay, I will I'm not. Ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, oh, so I must give the word. Yeah. It's kind of sort of, you know. It can also mean just to to be discreet. To be know? discreet. Uh, keep a secret. I love your body language. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I mean, Is it yeah. like not vibing in the socials? Not on the <laughs> One streets? Word. One word. One word. Yeah. St streetless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel this one. What's the word? Low key. Oh, low key. Oh. I know the word, but I wouldn't have yeah. the, the, the definition, definition behind it. Okay, this one's a little bit harder. Uh, to, throw, to throw something with force or excitement, it can also be used as an exclamation of victory or approval. To throw something with force or excitement. What world are we living in? I got 90% for English. Uh -huh. Okay, to throw something with force. Or, is it also one word or is it one a word. phrase? One word. Mm. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah? I, I'm thinking in This is why I hire young people. <laughs> I don't know. You have they to do all of that. One. Yeet. Yeet? Yeah, yeet. No. So what do you yeet? Yeah, you, you, you So yeet. I must yeet my shoe and my towel. <laughs> Yes. And you eat him. You eat, 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 eat. Why double eat? Eat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you were gonna give me vibes. Yeah, because I, can't, I was just gonna say that's lit. That's all I was gonna say. Bob, guys, give B O P firstly. Yeah, brothers of peace. <laughs>
What does Bob mean? Look, I, I think it's evidently clear that maybe we're not in that particular market yeah. at all. Yeah. But, you know, as we're rounding off our time together and we're celebrating your journey, we're yeah. celebrating your yes so many times, your, your persistence and consistency in knocking on those doors that maybe said no, doors that were very foreign to black women to yeah, be in, yes. you know. We're celebrating your journey of constantly pushing and building the narrative and creating the blueprint of what's possible for many others that will follow after you. I want to ask you what, what is something that you think you hold on to still so closely that someone who's very close to you once saw, who holds this very special place in your heart, who isn't here anymore, would mm. say if they were to see you now and you still hold them to their words, what would Mama Huan say oh, if she saw you right now? My grandmother. Yeah. Um, so I was laughing with my sister when I told her I have to wake up really early. And when I was shooting Zone 14, I'd have to wake up at like 3 in the morning. She said, Oh, my God, no, John. Would you like to drop on my little seven to go cast? You know? And I think what I'd hold on to is just the humility of the simpleness and the generosity. Um, we can all benefit, we are all teachers of one another. There is no hierarchy where you cannot learn from the intern or the executive producer cannot learn from the security guard. So I'll always keep that part of myself adding more to, and I'll keep in mind this too shall pass, which means when things are difficult and the seasons are rainy, it will pass, but also when things are doing really well, appreciate it because this too shall pass. Ah. That's beautiful. Last thing I want to ask you, you always do a five-year plan every year. What's the yes. biggest thing on your five-year plan right now? So on my five-year plan right now is to be completely debt-free. That includes oh, properties, that yes. includes vehicles, mm -hmm. completely debt-free. And to by five, my son must be moving out the house and getting yes. a job and living le anti -sue. Yes. And this is we But you never do two. The is independent. Hi, this is Rele Bukhile Mabocha on behalf of myself and the morning show. We would love to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a safe and blessed festive season. Make sure you tune in. Nice. Thank you so much. It takes 20 years to start to do one thing. Oh, yeah! Yay. And that's a wrap. I just did the morning show and it was fun. The crew is a little bit suspect. The hosts, Wes. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I just came here as part of my pro bono giving back work to the team. I came to sprinkle some of my excellence. <laughs>